everyone welcome back to my channel today we have a nursing video since I am going to be going to nursing school I wanted to get a head start on um, our doses dosage calculations portion of our curriculum um, since we will be tested on this throughout our career as a nursing student I wanted to get a head start and I started by some using some basic conversions and we'll be using dimensional analysis for this. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's very, very useful, especially in dosage. Um, the first step would be to memorize this table. Um, it's not hard to memorize, because uh, we've been memorizing for the last how many semesters, especially in A&P 1 and 2. Um, what I find, it's easy just to do 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, okay? And then one, one, 1,000. So I'll remember the first three lines. And then I'll plug in ones on this side and mostly ones on this side, except for the teaspoons, which is five milliliters. And then the one tablespoon, which is 15 milliliters. You know five becomes um, before 15. So you'll put your five with one teaspoon and then your one tablespoon will be 15. Just something we need to memorize. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the first question. We will be using this table because since we are newbies or new nursing students, we uh, will need to have a reference until we have a chance to memorize this. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and do with, uh, an easy conversion uh, using dimensional analysis. So the first problem says eight grams equals how many milligrams? So how we're gonna set this problem up is that we're gonna go ahead and use the information that we have. So we have eight grams and we need milligrams. So we're gonna go ahead and put eight grams on top and then we need milligrams. We're gonna just go ahead and label this as X. And in dimensional analysis, we work diagonally. So if we have grams here, we have to have grams here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And this is all multiplication straight across. And we're gonna go ahead and see how, what does one gram equal into milligrams? So we're gonna to go to our metric table and we're gonna find one gram. Well, we know a thousand milligrams equals one gram. So we're gonna go ahead and put one gram equals 1,000 milligrams. And our goal is to get rid of some of our uh, milligrams, micrograms, whatever uh, units we are using. So we know that we need micrograms, so we're gonna keep that and we're gonna go ahead and get rid of our grams. Okay, so this problem is set up. We have our milligrams, uh, milligrams, we can go ahead and multiply across. So eight times a thousand is 8,000. And then we have our X, which you can just use uh, as the place value as of one um, times one is one. So we cannot divide eight, well we can, 8,000 into one equals 8,000 milligrams. So that is our answer. Super easy. So we're gonna go ahead and do the next one. The next one is how uh, four grams equals how many micrograms? So we know that we have four grams and we need to find micrograms. So we're gonna go ahead and use the information that we have. We have four grams and we need to find micrograms. So we're gonna put X micrograms. And we know that we have grams here. We have to have grams down here. So let's go ahead and use our, our metric table to find out how many, how much does one gram have? One gram equals how many micrograms? So we know that one, gram equals a thousand micrograms. So let's go ahead and use that. But we need to go a step further. Let's go ahead and see, since we have milligrams here, we have to go milligrams here, so milligrams. So how much does one milligram equal in micrograms? Well, one milligram equals a thousand micrograms. So now we go ahead and we cancel out. We needed micrograms and we have micrograms here. So that's uh, that's how we know when we're done converting. We're gonna go ahead and 
uh, cancel out our milligrams and our grams, and we are going to multiply across. So four times a thousand times a thousand equals four million, right? And then X, we're just gonna leave it as one. One times one equals one. So your answer is four million micrograms. Very easy. Our next problem is a little more complex. We are gonna have to convert again. Um, we have 100 milligrams equals how many ounces? So this is a little different. So we have 100 milligrams equals how many ounces? We use our information we have. We know that we have 100 milliliters. I think I said grams, I'm sorry, it's milliliters. And we need ounces. Okay, so we have milliliters here, we need milliliters here. So we have to go into our metric table here and kind of figure out where to begin. We, we need milliliters, so let's go ahead and look at milliliters. We know that one tablespoon equals 15 milliliters. Okay, we know that two tablespoons equals one ounce, so we need to get to ounces. So we have to, in order to convert, we have to go from milliliters to ounces. So the only way to do that is to use this conversion right here and then work down to use this conversion. So we're converting twice. So um, we know that 15 milliliters equals one tablespoon, okay? And then we have tablespoon here, I gotta put tablespoon here. Um, and we know that two tablespoons equals one ounce, and that's what we need. We need ounces, ounces. So now we're able to go ahead and get rid of what we don't need, and we can go ahead and multiply across. So 100 times one times one is 100, and then we have x, which is one, 15 times two is 30, and if we divide 100 into 30, that is three ounces. So that is how you can do the conversion for that. So this is just the intro into dimensional analysis. I do recommend that you go ahead and um, find some problems that you can use, just basic conversion from one unit to another and start memorizing this because this is gonna be the basis to the foundation of dosage calculation. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll try to put out a new one at least once a week and we'll see you in my next one. Good luck, guys.